In this video, let's talk about one of the complications of neurological surgery, which is post-operative bleeding. What can we do to prevent this from happening? And how should we recognize it and treat it if and when it does happen? Complications in uh, neurosurgery are uh, going to happen. Uh, there's a risk of a complication anytime we do an invasive surgery. There's risk of complications with almost every single medical treatment that I am aware of. Uh, one of the risks with neurological surgery is that we go in, we work around the nerves, the spinal cord, and the brain, and after surgery there is bleeding that causes pressure on those structures and potentially can injure them. Prior to surgery, we want to make sure first and foremost that your nutritional status is as good as we can get it. Nutrition is an important part of the coagulation cascade and the body's ability to stop any bleeding with um, the factors involved in that process. Smoking can affect bleeding after surgery, so we want to make sure patients are not smoking after sur uh, before surgery. Any anticoagulation can affect bleeding after surgery. Plavix and warfarin and a variety of other medications that are given to prevent clots can cause bleeding after. So every medication is a little bit different, but we do ask the patients to stop those medications at a certain time, usually between uh, two to seven days before surgery, depending on the medication so that their clotting is working during and after the operation. When we do the surgery, we want to prevent bleeding as we go and stop it as we go. Before I close, I always make sure that there's no bleeding. We're under the microscope for much of the surgery and we can see, even at a microscopic level, if there's any amount of bleeding and we can stop it before we close. After surgery, it's a matter of recognition. Some bruising of the skin is normal and usually not a problem. It looks a lot worse than it really is. It's, it's, the, it's the bleeding that's deeper next to the nerve, next to the spinal cord, next to the brain that causes a neurologic issue. I have numbness I didn't have before. I'm developing weakness and I'm developing worsening pain. And then we have to make a clinical decision. Do we need to re-image and look at this and deal with it? It's important to patients that patients know that bleeding after surgery is a risk of neuro, neurosurgery and uh, we try to minimize the risk as much as possible and then if it does happen, identify it and address it appropriately in a timely manner.